Are you a leader that is constantly overwhelmed and in reaction mode, putting out fires, and you just don't think there's a way to get ahead of the curve and to start being proactive and more strategic and anticipating issues? Because you're just stuck in the minutia of day-to-day -day people management. I'm Daryl Black, and I help leaders make a greater impact personally and professionally with way less stress, more flow, and greater joy. Isn't that what we all want? I completely get it. Now the catchphrase is do more with less. I need more resources. That's cool. We all need more resources. So maybe this is you where at the end of the day, you are exhausted. You're unable to be present with your friends or family. You're starting to really dread going into the office, whether that be the actual office or commuting to your home office. You really are starting to feel stressed out at just the thought of facing the day, or you are maybe taking a vacation because everyone has been telling you to, but sure, a couple of days are really good. But then you start to think to yourself, okay, well, Monday, I'm going back into the office. These are all the things and boom, you start to feel stressed out, maybe get frustrated. And then you start to should yourself like, geez, I shouldn't be doing this. I should be present with my family, I should be able to relax, all of those things. It really comes down to one typical mistake that leaders make, and it's actually not a mistake itself, it's an omission of a step. So it's not something that you're doing, it's actually something that you're not doing. And that is, you're not asking yourself the critical question of what does right look like? What does right look like? And within that, what does right look like is who do I want to be as a leader? And this is like your North Star, determine your North Star. Who do I want to be as a leader? I want to be respected. I want to be a person of integrity. I want to be a good communicator, whatever that looks like. Because if you determine your North Star, then every decision after that, every interaction that you have following that decision, following that determination of your North Star, really becomes crystal clear. And if you think about your North Star, your identity, the leadership identity, who you want to be, it gives you that end state, that gives you that destination. And if we were to take it from a roadmap perspective, we are going on a vacation and we are heading to San Francisco. Well, and I live in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, for example. Well, I need to know the destination. So as I'm determining the route, because without the destination, I don't know the route. But as I go along that route, I may be coming across deviations or variances, roads closed and, and different weather patterns. And maybe there's other things I want to go see, whatever that looks like. But I'm constantly needing to continue to proceed towards San Francisco. But if I don't know I'm going to San Francisco, well, then I don't know how much gas I'm going to need. I'm not going to know the times associated with that, all of those other things. And in an environment that's VUCA, so volatile it's uncertain, it's complex, and it's ambiguous. There is no black or white route to a destination. So as you move, say, from well-meaning manager, but overwhelmed and frustrated and not present to a calm and competent leader, there's that destination. Your North Star should be or could be calm and confident. What does that look like? Well, all of the skills that you need to have to become calm and competent maybe can be encompassed in things like my leadership method, a critical path leadership method, where learning to lead yourself. So manage your own emotions and uh, stress management and your mindset and your own identity. Another element of that is leading teams in a positive fashion, creating teams that are cohesive, adaptive, resilient. Teams are high performing without micromanagement. That kind of goes into that, that route. And then you want to be a leader that, is calm and competent, but in all levels, not just making tactical decisions, but thinking strategically and getting ahead of the curve. I've just given you three kind of goalposts or milestones that go into being a calm and competent leader. But if you don't know that you want to be calm and competent, then you don't know that you need to manage your mindset. You don't know that you need to positively influence your team and, and even how you do that. You don't know necessarily that you need to be thinking strategically, moving from that tactical direction and have your headlights on, on high beam looking down the road. You may not know that. And if you are looking at that calm and competent leader 
as that identity, then whatever happens in terms of training opportunities, interactions, job promotion, job changes, personal situations, anything that comes up is looked at through that lens. And the question ultimately is not what is my North Star, although it could be, but it's what does right look like? What does right look like? I say what does right look like so often that when I was on a Red Cross project, the team and Marius in particular got me a t-shirt that said, what does right look like? Because that was the first thing that I would ask if there were faced with something like it's a VUCA environment, it's Canadian Red Cross. And we're dealing with a, a huge scale project, one of the largest operations outside of government. There's a lot going on and there are a lot of things that we had to adjust and, and deal with on the fly. But it all started with what does it look like? And in terms of what does it look like, it comes down to the identity that we created both on the personal side. So what kind of individual do I want to be? What kind of leader do I want to be on the professional side? All of those things go into it, but you have to determine what is that North Star? What does right look like first? And then it's also called the one major decision. Once you make that major decision, then the thousands and thousands and thousands of other decisions that fall behind it kind of fall into place. So it's a critical step that we as leaders and as parents and as partners, we don't often ask ourselves. And I would submit to you that that's probably why a lot of times we are caught off track. We're like shiny, shiny object syndrome where we have ADHD professionally or personally, not in terms of the medical condition, but I mean, not sticking to a course of action because we haven't determined what that North Star looks like. And it also means too, that we actually have to sit down and, and in as much silence as possible, quiet mind, sit down and say, who do I want to be as a leader, as a team? Who do we want to be as a team? What is the identity of our team? And as an organization, maybe it's your company, maybe it's your nonprofit. Who do we want to be as an organization? And that's not the mission. So that's not what do we want to do, but it's more around that. Who do we want to be? What does right look like with regard to how we treat ourselves? What does right look like in terms of how we make decisions, how we collaborate? What does right look like with how we interact with stakeholders and all of those zillions of other things that we are confronted with often in a VUCA environment, that volatile, certain complex, ambiguous environment of which everything is now. There's recessions that are being talked about. There's all sorts of disrespectful discourse happening online with regard to politics. There's so much polarization and there's way more, at least the perception, there's way more that separates us and brings us together. Well, that one question, what does right look like can unify a lot of things, but it can also clarify your own reactions and responses to different things. You can even apply this, what does right look like with regard to how you want to handle pressure. Like I said, if you want to be calm and competent as a leader, which I would fully support and I can help you with. So if you want to be calm, what does that look like? Well, I need to manage my emotions. I need to take a deep breath before I react. So I move from reaction to a response mode of stress. I need to eliminate ants, not those ants, the insects, but ants, automatic negative thinking or thoughts, ants. So I need to eliminate those for me to stay calm in different situations. So if I don't know that I want to be calm, if I don't know that that's what right looks like, if I don't know that that's what my North star is, then how am I ever going to get there? Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.